All right, this this is one of these strange articles here. I just look at the let's see the headline here. I didn't really read it, but if this is true, this is crazy. Queen's customer angry he didn't get enough duck sauce. Sought in slay of beloved Forest Hills Chinese food delivery man. I heard it. This this man uh, was killed, and I'm wondering who's gonna kill a, a delivery man. You know, uh, he, it wasn't like he was with a customer. It was like he was in the street driving his e-bike. So let's see. Um, the shooting death of a beloved Queen's Chinese food delivery man could be linked to a month-long dispute involving a customer furious he didn't get enough duck sauce with his order. I wonder if people know what duck sauce is. Um... Let's see, just about every Chinese restaurant here that you go to, they include some some duck sauce in there, in the bag with you, for you. So, the point is, the delivery man is the man who delivers food. He's not the one, you know, who puts the stuff in in, in the bag. So, to shoot him would be really outrageous. The NYPD wants to question the disgruntled customer, a 50-year-old man once charged with armed robbery about the Saturday night shooting of Jiren Yang as he was riding his scooter near 198th Street and 67th Drive in Forest Hills, sources said Monday. Someone who heard the shots told police a Lexus SUV sped away from the scene. The angry customer drives a Lexus SUV. Wow. According to Kai Yang, 53, the manager of Great Wall, the restaurant where Yan worked for more than a decade, about six blocks from the crime scene. Yang through an interpreter said the first time he saw potential suspect was in November when the man picked up his food order, grabbed dark sauce from a soft serve station then left only to return moments later with a complaint. You didn't give me enough dark sauce, the customer said. Yang tried to calm the man down, telling him the condiment was free of charge and he could take as much as he wanted. But then the customer complained there was none left and refused Yang's offer to go get more sauce for him. I want a refund, Yang quoted the customer saying. But Yang said he couldn't do that, especially during a pandemic. And not knowing any of the food had already been eaten, the customer still angry called police with officers responding and trying in vain to get Yang to provide a refund. Maybe maybe Yang should have just give him some money and get the hell out of there, right? The incident petered out, Yang said, or so he thought. Yang reported that on January 28, the same man menaced him with a gun. Police sources said Yang also said the man damaged the locks in front of the restaurant and slashed the tires on Yang's Honda CRV. But Yang said he fought back, dragging the man out of his car and taking his picture, then providing the photo to police. He also gave police the customer's license plate number. Police traced the plate and identified the customer as a nearby resident with 10 arrests on his record. All sealed. All sealed. Wow. <laughs> he would think he was a teenager. This is a guy who's 50 something years old. And, and occurring between 1995 and 2012, which was 10 years ago. 
One of the arrests, sources said, involved a robbery with a gun. The election be sealed. Pups have been unable to track the customer down since the end's senseless slain. His Lexus has now been flagged with an eye card or investigation card, meaning any cop who stops the vehicle for an unrelated reason will know the driver is being sought for questioning in the shooting. At the same time, police have not ruled out the possibility that the Lexus that sped away from the murder scene had no connection to the shooting or the possibility that Yang was a victim of a hate crime. Yeah, right. A Lexus SUV and, you know, the guy owns one too? Come on. It's too similar. On Sunday, Yang's grief-stricken widow sat at her living room table in Middle Village, wishing she and her husband had more time. My husband wakes up every day and just works, Eva Zhao said to a translator, fighting back the tears that never stopped flowing as she searched for a recent picture of her husband. He worked so hard, he didn't have time to take a picture. Yan, 45, and Zhao have been married for seven years and have two daughters and one son. I keep crying, Zhao said, breaking down. He meant everything to me. He took good care of me and the family. The hard-working dad who was on his way to his next delivery was struck in the chest and fell off the scooter. Medics rushed Yan to Amherst Hospital where he died. The victim, who worked two other jobs as well, was remembered by Great Wall customers as usually friendly and caring. He was always very pleasant, always with a smile, always very respectful. Mm, see? He was a first responder in a sense. He was always there. When nobody could go out, they were still delivering. And he was one of the delivery people that we cherish. Well, obviously the man who loves dark sauce and who is driving a, a, a Lexus SUV and who pulled a gun before on the manager there or owner of the restaurant, you know. So he has a history of pulling a gun and being violent. Yeah. I mean, we don't even have to think whether he's the one who did it. We know he is.